Hi, I'm Chuck Fay. This is Prairie Land Dairy in Belleville, Wisconsin. I'm in the fourth generation on this farm. I'm in the business with my dad and my brother. We milk 1,500 cows here. We have a double 24 parallel parlor with automatic takeoffs, individual IDs. The rolling herd average is 31 to 32,000. The average cow is given 90 to 94 pounds of milk, and our preg rate runs between 32 and 36 percent. On the forage side of things for the milk cows, we run about a 70-30 diet, which means 70 percent corn silage for us, 30 percent haylage. Feed mostly BMR corn silage. On the haylage side of it, we feed low lignin alfalfa, trying to make the rations as digestible and efficient as possible. We have a 864 bed freestall barn here. It's a cross vent barn built in 2014. The original dairy barn is just a regular freestall barn with fans overhead. That was built in 1999. We have three different loving sheds for our baby calves. All of our fresh baby calves go into our old dairy barn in the individual huts and they are there until they get weaned off. Then we move them out to our other barns. They stay there when they're bred and they come home 45 to 60 days before calving. Prairie Land Dairy consists of my brother Chuck, myself, and my mom and dad, Jim and Cheryl. They're the ones that started all this years ago. Without them two, this wouldn't be here. When I started out with my dad, we had 30 cows, and right now we're at 1,500. We were milking 200 cows, and I thought everybody was halfway comfortable, and my wife said, you guys, you got bad knees. I have my bad knees. The way you're milking cows is crazy, and either we build a dairy up on the hill, or you guys need to go find a job, one or two. I said, I don't want to do this. I said, it's too big, I'm getting too old. And she spun around and she looked at me and she said, Jim Fay, your dad gave you the opportunity to farm, you are giving the kids an opportunity to farm. So I said, okay, okay. <laughs> Case closed, so that's how we started. 2012, we built this cross-ventilated barn and we added on to the parlor. In between there, we had some small expansions where we added like 100 cows two different times onto our original barn. So that got us up to about 700 cows. We wanted to go a little bit bigger for the future, knowing we probably had some suns coming. And so that's why we went to this 1300 in 2012. It just seems to be a nice fit for us. I like to think we take pride in is keeping the farm neat and clean. First off, so when people drive by, they see a nice clean farm, they're gonna think they should take good care of your animal just by your presentation from the road. And I would like to think when they do come and they see how we do take care of them, then they understand, cattle come first. The cows are always first on the farm. If you don't take care of them, you're in trouble. We bed sand two times a week. We make sure the stalls are clean. Once the cows get up, go in, the employees rake the stalls. We have a low stream sprinkler right above the cow that sprinkles a very fine mist on them. Cow comforts everything to us. If the cow ain't comfortable, they're not gonna milk well. They're gonna stand up, they're gonna be lame. So we really concentrate very highly on cow comfort. For technology, we use the cow manager. Cow manager basically tells us everything we need to know about a cow. Before we were using milk weights out of the parlor, seeing if the cows are down 10%, 20%. By the time you see that, the cow's really down and out. The cow manager, we can pick a cows that are sick within five, six hours. It's just wonderful. We just love the system. The cow manager system helps us to identify that sick cow before she physically looks ill. So now we can take that cow with minimal issues, deal with minimal issues, and have her back in the milk line or never leaving the milk line. I was at a ball game one time and I was looking at my phone and I actually had to text my herdsman to have him go look at a cow because I didn't think she was doing very good. Things like that, it's super simple. They'll tell you the activity of the cow, how the cow is walking around, temperature of the cow, rumination of the cow. If you have nutrition, it can tell you how much she's eating in a day and it's worth every penny. For our breeding program, all the cows are run through a double OVSYNC program. We used to have an OVSYNC program, but we just couldn't get good enough results that we wanted, so we went to double OVSYNC, and from double OVSYNC we shot from 24% preg rate to 32 to 36% during that time of the year.
We're doing a little bit of cover crops. Seems to be the new thing. We're trying it slowly. Seems to be working. Trying a little bit of no-till, that seems to be working. We're trying to do the best we can with the water. We really watch how much we use. Our CIP, our clean in place water from our parlor and our bulk tanks, go down to our sand separation room and we actually reuse that water down there to clean the sand, which comes back into the dairy. So we're reusing the sand over and over and over again. So we basically don't buy any sand. When you're in this business, you're like an NFL coach, I think. You surround yourself with good people. We have a great agronomist, a great nutritionist that we work with. That makes our life much easier, and it makes Chuck's life much easier, and it makes Mark's life much easier. We are very blessed in the employees that we have. They're very good people. They show up, they care about what they do, and that's all I can ask for. Without those employees, you don't have much. I think it's really cool working with my brother and my dad. Like any other else, there's differences every day, you know, but we just put our heads together and we hash out what we gotta do and, you know, I wouldn't want it any other way. It's, it's a family and you can't beat family working together. We're very blessed. Chuck has a son helping us. I have two sons helping us and then my mom does all the book work, which is a godsend. And my dad comes down and helps wherever he can. At the end of the day, it's very good. I wouldn't have it any other way. We're always open to anyone stopping in. I love to show it to people because we're proud of what we got. We think we've done a decent job here and no problem showing other people, especially other farmers, because that's where we learned a lot of ideas was talking to other people. I hope when people look at us, they're gonna wanna say, wow, that is a super well-kept farm. If they come in here, I want them to look at our cows and just be in awe. These cows are our lives. Without healthy cows, we wouldn't be around and we work very hard to sustain what we have here and I hope they appreciate it as much as I do.